Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with my weekly collective haul video. Uh, I've got a lot this week so I'm just going to jump right in. Uh, so first of all, somebody asked me if I was going to be picking up these new Pacifica fragrances. So I started with these two, which we'll talk about in a second, and then uh, somebody, I'm doing a swap with somebody again, so uh, she's going to be sending me a third one and then I will have three of the four. But but uh, let's start with the first one that I picked up, which is called Blue Moon. This is gorgeous. I knew I would love this. This is basically, uh, and I love that they have the notes on the front of the bottles, and I love these bottles. I love the little moon phases. I just think that they're so gorgeous. And they're ombre from like dark to light at the top. They're just beautiful. Um, none of the Pacifica bottles usually come with caps, so... Okay, so Blue Moon is water, lavender, and currant, and it is so stunning. Oh my gosh, I love this. So, like most, and I smell... I smell something creamy in here like vanilla. I'm pretty sure there's a vanilla in this. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm almost positive there's vanilla in this. This is stunning. Now, these don't last that great on the skin, just like most of the Pacifica fragrances. Um, you're only gonna get a couple to a few hours out of them, but I don't even care because they are always so stunning and they're so inexpensive. And I did pick these up, buy one, get one 50% off. So I think I got both of these for I think they were about 15 bucks a piece. This is beautiful though. I'm not getting a lot of the lavender. This is mostly like a slightly creamy currant fragrance. It's like currants and cream, if that makes any sense. It's gorgeous, I love it. So that one is called Blue Moon, that is a winner. And then the second one I got, of course, I had to pick up this Silver Moon, which is Vanilla, Almond, and Spice. This smells exactly like a lady at work. Um, this is exactly what she smells like every day. It's beautiful. It is a gorgeous, like, spiced vanilla fragrance. Sorry, spiced almond fragrance, not vanilla, though it does have vanilla in it. It's beautiful. It's creamy, almond. Oh, and spices. Now this one lasts pretty good. This one you'll get about four hours out of. Ugh, I plan on layering this over some just simple vanilla lotion and like going to town with this. It's gorgeous. It's like, ugh, it's just yummy spiced almond cookies. So good. So that one is called Silver Moon. I recently mentioned that I've been on a lavender kick lately, and so somebody commented suggesting I pick up this uh, Kumba Made Lavender Lace Oil. So, of course, as soon as I got on Kumba Made's website, I got crazy, and I ended up with five <laughs> different oils. Um, I We used to have a natural food market near me called Earth Fair, and Earth Fair sold these in the older packaging. Um, so I have actually had a couple of these oils and I've been through a couple of them and I love Kumba Made. They're really beautiful oils. But Lavender Lace is basically like, it, they don't have notes listed, but I smell lavender. I definitely think I smell white musk. Yeah, I definitely get like lavender and musk and maybe, maybe like a touch of vanilla or something. It's a beautiful, slightly medicinal smelling lavender. I really love it. If you're wanting just a beautiful, calming, like lavender scent, like true, beautiful, dry lavender, then this is for you. So that is uh, Lavender Lace. And then the second one I picked up, this is one of my favorites. This is called Water Lily. And here, let me show you what these little bottles look like. I love the new packaging of these. I think it's really, really beautiful. So this one again is called Water Lily. And 
This one is slightly sweet, watery smelling, green. It's definitely got some beautiful green notes in there. So if you're looking for just like a beautiful, very light, crisp, spring-like floral, like a green floral, I think you would like this. This is one of my favorites that I picked up. It's stunning and it's gonna be so beautiful in the spring. So that is called Water Lily. And I'm gonna upload this today so you guys are gonna get basically like back-to-back -back collective haul videos. I apologize, but I'm finally getting caught up. So I thought I better get it uploaded today so that I'm not uploading it like way far down in the week and keeping myself behind. But anyways, next one I picked up is a vanilla musk and this is basically vanilla and white musk. Um, if you love uh, musk fragrances like, you know, like the Jovan white musk or just like a white musk fragrance, Ugh, and you love vanilla this is like a beautiful clean white musk vanilla fragrance it's so so stunning i really love this one so this is vanilla white musk these last forever on your skin too um i wore this one sweet rain yesterday and i could smell it i could still smell it on my clothes this morning when i woke up so these are the good kind of oils that last forever um okay so sweet rain is Amber, vanilla, rose, citrus, cedar, and sandalwood. Oh gosh, this one is a little bit like hippy dippy smelling, which I love. Tons of vanilla. Like there's so much vanilla in this. I don't get a lot of the amber. It's more of like a, like a beautiful hippie shop vanilla. It's gorgeous. I love it. I loved wearing this. I, I smelled so good yesterday. So anyways, that one is called Sweet Rain. And then last but not least, I picked up Zen Rain, which this one, just the name, I knew I was going to like it. But this is Violet, Orchid, Moss, Fern, and like Rain. Oh, it's gorgeous. Sweet Violet, crisp green, and like that watery, like fantasy water fragrance. Ugh, it's gorgeous. I love this so much. Oh, wow. This is another one. This is all violet. Violet and that beautiful green. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so good. This is one that I'm going to love in the springtime. It's so beautiful and crisp and calming. And it's violet, and I love violet. I swear I smell rose in this, though. It smells like rose. Like a beautiful, crisp rose. So anyways, that one is called Zen Rain. Hey, boo. <laughs> what you doing? But yeah, this smells like it's got rose in it. Mm, like a beautiful, crisp rose garden. Oh, it's so good. Okay, next we have a Mercari find, and I was so excited to find this because it was like 13 bucks on Mercari. It's a big, huge 3.4 ounce bottle, and I've been wanting this for a long time. This is the Pure DKNY Drop of Verbena, and um, I love the Drop of Vanilla. <laughs> I really want the Drop of Rose because I'm sure it's gorgeous. You want some? This is beautiful. It's just a beautiful, crisp verbena fragrance, and it's stunning, and it lasts a really, really long time. This is another one that's going to be great for spring. Can you guys tell that I'm ready for spring? I'm Same. like, you too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So verbena is lemon verbena, basil, peony, honeysuckle, jasmine, seaweed, vetiver, and amber. I mean, it smells okay. It kind of smells like gum. I love it. It smells like gum. I love this. It's so beautiful and so fresh. It smells like gum. I'm not usually the hugest fan of DKNY perfumes, but this line, this whole like pure DKNY line, I really, really love them. And they're so, so affordable. So anyways, that is pure DKNY drop of verbena. Okay. And those, that's everything that I purchased this week. Um, everything else that I'm going to show you was sent over to me by another 
beautiful YouTuber. Um, his name is Alex and his channel is Among the Stars Perfume and he is like the authority on celebrity fragrances. Anytime I am thinking about purchasing a celebrity fragrance or that I'm interested in one or I want like I just want more information on one I go to his channel or I'll type in like whatever perfume I'm looking for and then among the stars and usually a video um, of his with him talking about it will come up he is like the best celebrity fragrance fragrance reviewer that I've come across so um, anyways, thank you so much, Alex. I have had the best time playing with these perfumes and I am so, so grateful to you for taking the time to send these over and thank you so much. So many hugs and so much love to you. So anyways, if you guys have not checked out his channel, you definitely should because his channel is so awesome. He has so many fragrances like the shell like his older videos with all of the shelves behind him he has just got so many fragrances it's like it's the kind of room that you want to go in and just smell you know you just want to have a sniff fest in there with him but anyways so let's get into what he sent over so he saw my video my haul video where i hauled those little sad quarter ounce Paris Hilton fragrances that I bought that were packaged really terribly that leaked all over the place and broke and like didn't have lids and they were just sad and so anyways he contacted me on Instagram and he was like hey I can send you a full bottle because I've got backups and it's like his favorite fragrance Platinum Rush is his favorite fragrance and so of course I was just so grateful to receive them but anyways let's start with some of the other things that he sent like ugh, I can't I, like I can't even my heart okay so the first thing he sent is Donna cat Donna Karen liquid cashmere black I tried to smell. and let me see there you go oh you got it on your nose <laughs> so cherry is one of his favorite notes and I'm guessing that's why he uh, sent this one or why he has it I'm sure he has a full bottle of it it's really beautiful so black is sour cherry, rose, jasmine, praline, patchouli, and sandalwood. I get a lot of rose and a lot of patchouli and that beautiful sour cherry note in the top. It's really gorgeous. I had never smelled this one before, so I'm really excited to get to smell it. So that is Donna Karen Liquid Cashmere Black. And then next he sent over Donna Karen Liquid Cashmere White, which I've been so curious about this fragrance. So I was super excited to see it. So white is lemon, bergamot, osmanthus, musk, and vanilla. And this is a stunner of a fragrance. It's, it's simple, but it's clean and gorgeous. Forehead. This is another one that when I smelled it, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to love this in the spring. It's just so clean and beautiful. It's just one of those perfumes that just smells good. You're gonna smell like you just took a shower, like you're fresh and clean and beautiful. And I cannot wait to test this one. So that is Donna, Ka gosh, why do I wanna keep saying cashmere? Donna Karen Liquid Cashmere White. Okay, and then I was super excited because he sent over a Jennifer Aniston fragrance and I have been so curious about Jennifer Aniston fragrances. Um, I'm really, really curious about the first one she came out with and I think after smelling this one, I'm just gonna buy, blind buy a bottle of that one because this is beautiful and I had a feeling her fragrances were gonna have like a classy edge to them and they really do. So this is Jennifer Aniston Chapter One and in the bottle, um, it smells super light. Like it's one of those fragrances that you almost feel like you're anosmic to it, but then when you get it on your skin and especially after it dries down, it's so beautiful. This is another one that is simple and clean. It's gorgeous. I'm really, really excited about this. Um, this is one I would totally buy a full bottle of because this would be one that like you could keep under the cabinet in your bathroom and spray it all over when you got out of the shower and you would smell amazing. Uh, so chapter one is pink pepper, orange blossom, bergamot, tiara flower, tuberose, jasmine, vine, musk, tonka bean, and teak wood. I'm playing with your perfume. 
it's beautiful. In the bottle, you get a lot of the pepper and a lot of the teak wood. But on your skin, everything warms up and just smells like the most beautiful like summer fragrance. I definitely can smell the tuberose, but the tuberose is not overpowering. Like it's not overtaking the whole fragrance. Like tuberose? happens a lot of times with tuberose. But tuberose. anyways, I'm excited to really give this one a good wear test too. I have tested on my skin and it just... When it warmed up and blended with my chemistry, it was gorgeous. So that is Jennifer Aniston chapter one. Okay, next he sent over another Paris Hilton fragrance, which I am like, I don't know. I am I feel like I'm about to go on a Paris Hilton binge because her, the Rush fragrances were so pleasing to me that I want more. Um, so he sent over Electrify and this is another beautiful one. I tested on my hand before I went to bed one night and it was just so sugary and yummy and this is more of like typical celebrity fragrance but it's they're just good they just smell good they're just fun and young and I just love them this is something I could see little Charlotte here wearing like as a first fragrance it's just not that it's not for everybody I would rock this very much so it's just beautiful. It's just a fun, young, like youthful fragrance. So Electrify is Ozonic Notes, Red Apple, Mandarin Orange, Cyclamen, Red Poppy, Turkish Rose, Magnolia, Peony, Coconut, Vanilla Absolute, Patchouli, and Sandalwood. She uses a lot of red apple in her fragrances, which I adore red apple in fragrance. It just, red apple will make anything youthful, in my opinion. And that's how this is. This is just a beautiful, fun <laughs> fragrance. And I'm super excited to wear that one too. And then he sent over a couple of Taylor Swift fragrances. And Taylor Swift. I love Taylor Swift fragrances. Um, this first one is just Taylor. And this one smells a lot like... Um, this smells to me a lot like the original formulation of Burberry and it's stunning so i think that's what i'm going to do with this i'm going to put this on and then layer my original formulation of burberry over it and i'm going to be in like cozy cashmere heaven so taylor is lychee tangerine magnolia sorry magnolia petals vanilla orchid peony hortensia apricot sandalwood cashmere musk and woody notes it's beautiful like I say, it's it reminds me of the original formulation of Burberry, and it is a stunner. So that is Taylor from Taylor Swift. And then he also sent over a bottle of Incredible Things, and this is a big bottle, and I am so excited. It really is beautiful. Um, I, Taylor Swift is another one that I love all her fragrances. Yeah, fragrances. like I don't... Huh? Fragrances. Yeah. Like, I don't think that I've smelled a Taylor Swift fragrance that I didn't like. So, Incredible Things is Pink Pepper, Grapefruit Suede, Passion Flower, Vanilla Orchid, Madagascar Vanilla, Haitian Vetiver, Musk, and White Amber. And it's really, really nice. Ugh, I like this one a whole bunch. So anyways, that is Taylor Swift Incredible Things. Okay, and then the stars of the show... He sent over two huge full-size bottles of Gold Rush and Platinum Rush, and oh my gosh, Gold Rush is beautiful. It is... That one's burp. Don't let that out. Oh my gosh, I love Gold Rush, and I just sent my little quarter ounce bottle in this another little swap that I'm sending, just because she was like, you know, I love like vanillic you know, creamy, warm fragrances. And I was like, oh my gosh, I know it's like a celebrity fragrance and she might not like it because she's more into like niche stuff, but I'm thinking that she'll like this because it just smells good. It's just so beautiful and fun and creamy and cozy and yummy. So Gold Rush is Nectarine, Lemon, Bergamot, Orchid, Rose Petals, Violet, Praline, Vanilla, and Cashmere Wood. Oh, and I love this so, so much. It just smells amazing. These last forever on my skin too. Um, 
yeah, like I can spray these on and I'll smell them until I take a shower. For being celebrity fragrances, they are, they perform so well for me. So anyways, that is a Gold Rush and these are quite possibly my favorite bottles in my collection, hands down. Like I know that some people might think that they're over the top, but I love them. And in person, they're so much prettier than they come across on camera. Like there's just something gorgeous about them. They're heavy too, they're really well made. So anyways, that is Gold Rush. Ugh, and then the star of the show, this is the best one. This is Platinum Rush and it is a stunner. And I know I was having a hard time making up my mind whether I liked the Platinum Rush or the Gold Rush better. Um, I think I like the Platinum Rush better. It is fruity and yummy and clean and slightly shampoo-y and sweet. And it just smells amazing. Oh, I love this so, so much. Okay, so Platinum Rush is mango, red apple, pear, watery notes, magnolia, green accord, lily of the valley, floral notes, cashmere musk, amber, and patchouli. And it is so yummy. Yeah, it's just beautiful and yummy. Oh gosh. It's so good and it really is unique. I made, uh, I made more art paper. Oh yeah, good job. So anyways, that is Platinum Rush and this is the best bottle ever because it has glitter on it. Who doesn't love glitter? It is so pretty. I love it. I love this bottle so much. So anyways, that is Platinum Rush. So thank you so much again to Alex from Among the Stars for sending all of those over. I am appreciative, like from the bottom of my heart. So thank you. And then last but not least, um, I a company named uh, Hervé Laurent contacted me recently and asked if they could send some samples over and which I'm always down to sample things and these are beautiful. I had never heard of this company before um, or of this brand before and when I looked it up they're really really expensive so these are definitely very very pricey fragrances um, like $250 a bottle pricey but they really are nice so I will start with Lady Demore. Uh, both of these are hev like heavy floral fragrances. Yeah. 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 Very like good quality, like expensive smelling heavy florals. Both of them are. So Lady D'Amour is bellflower, Sicilian lemon, apple, Floral Wood, Bamboo, White Rose, Tea Rose, Mint, Jasmine, Gardenia, Tuberose, Cedar, Musk, and Amber. This is all about the Gardenia to me. I smell Gardenia more than anything, but you definitely get the Tuberose, but the Gardenia is really the standout. But yeah, they smell expensive. They smell super high quality. Um, they're just really nice, expensive florals. So that is Lady de More. And then the other one they sent is called Lady de Jour. And this one is Rose, Cumin, Greenberry, Floral Wood, Vetiver, Cedarwood, Plum, Tuberose, Musk, Gardenia, Gayak Wood, Olibanum, and Agarwood. Ugh, and this one's really, really gorgeous. Um, this one is more about the Tuberose than the Gardenia. So this one's more tuberose heavy, but this one uh, is not quite as floral as the Lady D'Amour. This one's got a lot more of the woodiness going on, but it's still a pretty heavy floral fragrance. But yeah, this of the two, this was the one that I liked the most, and they're just beautiful, really nice, like high quality, expensive smelling fragrances. So. Anyways, that one is Lady Du Jour, and that is a brand or a company called Hervé Laurent. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out if you're interested. So, 
Anyways guys, those are all of the perfumes that came to me this week. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.